Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're gonna be showing you how to use and edit our Premiere Pro title templates. So let's jump right into it. And hey, if you're not familiar with us, we're all about helping you, the video creator, with templates, footage, tutorials, plugins, audio, and more. In fact, we have tons of free Premiere Pro templates ready to download. I've included a link, so make sure to hop over and grab some free stuff. So here we are in Premiere Pro. And to start it off, let's do the first thing that you need to do in order to start working with your titles. Actually bring them into Premiere Pro. This, thankfully, is pretty simple. All you have to do is find the titles on your computer and then click and drag them into Premiere Pro. You should then be prompted with this message box. And you wanna make sure that these options are checked. Import entire project, create folders for imported items, and importing duplicate media. Once you hit OK, you should be able to start using your title templates. So when we go to our project window and look at the folder, when we drop it down, you should see something very similar to the following. You should have around two to three subfolders, an edit folder, a finals or render folder, and possibly an assets or other labeled folder. The first thing that we're gonna do is open up the final or render folder. What this is is basically a place where you can take a look through all the different title templates that are available to use in this pack. They should be in either a list of numbered options or in a sequence of all of them placed together. So the first step is to look through all of them to see which one you like best. I like this one, number nine. So what I'm gonna do is take note of which number this is and then to actually drag and drop that option here from the folder on top of my existing footage. And you should see that the title appears instantly and it's looking pretty awesome, except for a couple things. I actually want the text to say something different. And I wanna change up the colors of both the text and the graphic bars. So how do we go about doing that? Well, to get started, let's go up here to the edit folder. When we drop this down, we should see options to work with each of the individual title versions. Remember that we're working with number nine. So let's go down to that folder and drop it down. And we can see that from here, we have a few options. Two options for shapes and two options for text. Let's start with the text. The reason we have two options for text is because there's two distinct text sections that are part of the same title template. Yours may have more or less depending. So to edit it, let's just double click on the text sequence here and you'll be taken to a new sequence where you can actually edit your text. Once here, you can just click and edit your text. Replace it with whatever you want. And if you wanna change other elements like font, size, or color, you have those options available here either within the effect controls panel or the Essential Graphics panel. I'm gonna leave the font the same for now, but I wanna change the color to a nice soft red. Go down to the color swatch here under Fill. Click it to select it, and then you should be able to choose any color that you want. So now when we go back to our original sequence by selecting it at the top of our timeline here, we can see that our text has been changed to exactly what we told it. Now let's quickly change the other piece of text. Now, to change the color of your other elements, you can double click on the shape options here. Select the layer here, and you should have options to edit it within either the effect controls or the essential graphics panel. To change the color, just use the same method we did for the text. Go down to the fill option of the element in question, and now you can select any color you want. Now, to get our color to match exactly to the red color of the text that we chose earlier, let's go back to our text, and select the color swatch again. You can actually see a hexadecimal code here for the exact color that we selected. So if we highlight and copy that with Control or Command C, and then go back to our shape sequence, and select the color swatch, we can now change the color by pasting in that same code with Control or Command V, and now we have exactly the same color that we chose before. Great. So now let's go back to our main sequence and take a look. Awesome, it's looking great. Now it's important to point out that most templates will work the same way as what we've shown in this video. Just keep in mind that some templates will work differently depending on the elements inside them. There's a chance that yours might have color changing work by double clicking on the title template you're using and then looking for a layer that specifically states change color. From there, you can usually change the colors by selecting that and then going to the Effect Controls panel. 
And lastly, your template might fall into a category that uses what's called legacy titles. Motion Array has been providing templates for many years. And a while ago, Premiere Pro changed the way you work with text altogether. Templates created before this time are still fully compatible with your project, but may need to use the legacy title feature instead of the new type tool and essential graphics panel. If you find yourself in that situation, your workflow is almost identical. The only difference is that when you actually want to physically edit your text, you'll have to actually double click the actual layer and this will bring up the legacy text editor. Once this box appears, you can now work with your text exactly as expected. Making the desired changes here and once completed, they'll show up in your main sequence. And guys, that's how you use our Premiere Pro title templates. I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you were wanting to grab some free title templates for yourself, I've included a link so you can check them out. And as always, you can find all of our other tutorials here at motionarray.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.